Now, I originally began to connect this with the secret societies of the world. And I wrote an entire chapter on my book, The Involvement of the Secret Societies in the New World Order. And I began forming an organization known as the Citizens Agency for Joint Intelligence, which has since become the largest and most successful intelligence gathering network under civilian control in the world, bar none. Two years ago, we sent members out to infiltrate the secret societies and obtain the necessary degrees to reach a level where they would find out what was happening really because the only thing we have access to is what they have written and they never write the truth because they are sworn by blood oath that they cannot divulge the truth of what they are really up to. Some prolific writers, if you understand the symbology and the esoteric language that they speak to each other, have revealed the truth, but only those who understand the symbology and the esoteric language can read it and understand it. And one of those writers is Manly P. Hall. You people in L.A. have a tremendous opportunity because the Philosophical Society founded by Manly P. Hall is right here. It has one of the biggest libraries on the occult, the secret societies, and the esoteric teachings of this secret religion that goes all the way back to the dawn of the history of man and the worship of the sun that exists on the face of this planet. And yet, most of you are chasing lights in the sky. and waiting for the Benevolent Space Brothers to rescue you. <laughs> are debating whether a period or a comma or the day or the month comes first in a document which keeps you all spinning around in circles and cul-de-sacs at the whims of people like William Moore and Stanton T. Friedman so that you never understand what's really happening in this world or who's bringing it about. And that's the real intent of all those silly little pathetic arguments. And when someone comes up and wants to present to you a different point of view, is the information discussed? Is there an intelligent argument or conversation or dialogue conducted about the merits or the points of the argument? No. Don't listen to that person because he's a drunk. Folks, I know a lot of drunks, none of them are liars. Now, I'm trying to make a point here that is extremely important that you connect with. For I told you that the real purpose of my even ever discussing anything that I ever saw, or even trying to wake up anyone, was not to tell you about the reality or fantasy of extraterrestrial visitation to this earth, but was to wake you up to the reality of the imminent enslavement of the American people, the destruction of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. The document, the only document in the history of the world that ever granted any man or woman that ever walked on this earth freedom.